Um, we're, on a, we're on Mount Owen. This is the east-facing aspect above Treeline. This is the site of a very large avalanche that happened um, last week during the solstice storm. Uh, what we had is a very widespread weak layer that formed during our early December dry spell. And that's sitting right down here. And then since then, this is the deeper part of the zone that gets really favored snowfall and wind loading. But we've got about a three foot slab here. Um, as you move closer to town, especially lower elevations, this slab shrinks in size and stiffness. You know, right here, it's, it's pretty stout. It's one finger slab towards the bottom. But if you go to a below tree line slope, it's gonna be more like a fist, a four finger slab and a lot shallower. So some differences across the zone, but the key point here is that we've got this. This is the persistent slab that we've been talking about. This is the weak layer. And those two ingredients are pretty widespread around our forecast area. In an area above tree line like this, especially in deeper part of the zone, it's a really dense, thick slab right now. So it means it's harder to trigger. But if you can trigger it, if you find a shallow spot, you can still collapse this weak layer and it will propagate pretty wide distances. This, um, if you want to pan around, this avalanche went wall to wall across this bowl and uh, ran about 2,500 vertical feet all the way into Robinson Basin. You can see some of that old debris. It's been covered up now by about a foot of new snow down there, all the way into the valley bottom. So that's very large. It was large enough to snap trees. Here's our weak layer here. It's these sugary facets. It's real junky. Um, it has gained a little strength because it's been under the weight of four or three or four feet of snow now. It's this hardness though, or sorry, four finger hardness compared to up here, the slab is one finger. So it's still a really stark change in uh, density and grain type. You can see it pretty clearly when you dig in a pit.